Business English, Unit 2, Quality, Lecture 4, Quality and People. Hello everyone, welcome to this lecture on quality and people. While technology and processes are important components of achieving high levels of quality in organizations, it is ultimately people who drive the success of quality initiatives. In this lecture, we will explore the relationship between quality and people, and how investing in people can lead to improved quality and organizational performance. Whether you are a manager, a quality professional, or simply interested in understanding the importance of people in quality, this lecture will provide you with valuable insights and practical strategies for cultivating a quality-focused culture in your organization. So, let's begin. The content of the lecture. In this lecture, we will talk about the following elements. A. Investors in people and B. The FQM excellence model. A. Investors in people. There are models and frameworks that emphasize the human dimension in improving quality. Investors in people is a framework developed in the UK. It sets a level of good practice for training and development of people to achieve business goals. The investors in people standard is based on four key principles. A commitment to invest in people to achieve business goals. B planning how skills, individuals and teams are to be developed to achieve these goals. C action to develop and use necessary skills in a well-defined and continuing program directly tied to business objectives. D evaluating outcomes, the results of training and development for individuals progress towards the goals and the goals of the organization as a whole. B. The EFQM Excellence Model. The EFQM Excellence Model was developed by the European Foundation for Quality Management, a non profit organization set up by leading European companies to help European businesses make better products and deliver improved services through the effective use of leading edge management practices. In this model, people are very much part of the wider quality picture. It refers to company stakeholders, who are not only its employees, shareholders, and customers, but also the community as a whole. In conclusion, quality is not just about processes and systems, it is also about people. Employees are the key to creating and sustaining a culture of quality within an organization. By providing training, empowering employees to make decisions, and creating a supportive work environment, organizations can improve the quality of their products and services, while also enhancing employee satisfaction and engagement. However, achieving a culture of quality requires a long-term commitment and a willingness to invest in people as well as processes. Thank you for joining me in this lecture on quality and people. That is all for today. See you next time.